hello good morning how are you doing welcome to inspiration with our boss today yes that is me our boss today Aro. i hope you are okay how are you doing how are you coping in this kind of um, pandemic i hope that you are being safe i hope you are staying you know indoors as much as you can and you are taking all the precautions all the things necessary to be safe i know that god will make it pass because it is a face it will go all that we are going through now it is not permanent because god did not create the world to be like this i know god is already doing something about this welcome to today's program and on today's program i'll be talking to you about a wonderful um, topic i title it the spirit in the dust the spirit in the dust. What do you mean by the spirit in the bo dust, bosse? What are you talking about? Okay, this morning I'm talking about the spirit that God has kept inside of me and you. Um, the spirit that God is, has given to us to be a living soul. The breath he has given to us in our nostrils. The reason we are alive today, that is the spirit of God on the inside of us. And God has molded us um, in such a way that we can move we can walk, we can talk, we can breathe, we can even do anything, we can even think we have our own mind. Ah, but you know what God did when he did that? He planted something on the inside of us. If you can remember the book of Genesis, from the beginning when God molded Adam, you know God did something there. He, he formed it from the dust of, of the ground. He made him a human, but he was not human instantly because he was just sand. It was made from the sand that is the dust that we walk upon today. And when God molded him together, I gave him a shape, a body, ham, legs, a stomach, head, face. He tried to put a space for the eyes. When he did everything in his own power, because it's not what man can try. If you just go and put some sand together, it will not work. But, you know, because of his infinite um, wisdom, understanding, power, grace, and sufficiency, he molded man from sand. And when God did that, he now did something that is very, very um, extraordinary. Ordinary. What God did was that he breathed, he, he, he kept his breath on, in, on the inside of Adam. When God did this, he kept his own spirit in him. And that is why I'm talking about the spirit in the dust. I hope you are getting me right now. Because when God did that, he now kept something that nobody can come by. He did something that the Chinese, anybody that he has created, oh, he's the one that created them. So there's no way they can come about it. There's no way they can think it or bring it out from a formula. It is not done. It can never happen. The power is only limited to God. You know, God is the one that can create anybody and give them the breath of life. So when God molded Adam, he kept in him the spirit that was making Adam to, you know, to walk around. That's the spirit that is inside of us today. That's the spirit that is making you and I to move, to think, to talk, to pray, to have our own idea. That's the spirit of God that is making us to do exploit because he kept himself on the inside of us. And God making Adam that day, he created him and he decided that, oh, you have to leave. I cannot leave you to, to remain the sand of the ground. I will give you something that will make you to have power, to be able to move about, to have dominion, to do the things that you want to do but oh i will restrict these things to the will that i have for myself because if i should let you go outside this will then you will make mistakes then you will not be pleasant in my eyes so when god was giving Adam that spirit he made him have his life his interest his, his, his passion his own thinking on the inside of him but the moment Adam and eve ate the fruit of the garden of eden the forbidden fruit the fruit that god commanded them not to eat immediately that spirit uh, introduced that uh, the side of sin inside of them he introduced the knowledge of evil on the inside of them that is why you can see today that man want to do good but sometimes they cannot because the sin that god um, asked the children of um, um that is in the garden of eden that is eve and adam the fruit that he asked them not to eat that he will open their eyes to see evil that fruit is already in inside of the human being i mean the human race now uh but when you give your life to christ that's the only time that seed can you know be flushed down out gradually from the inside of you but the moment you don't give your life to christ you still have that seed on the inside of you and there's nothing you can do about it because you are not the one that even put it there from the i mean in, in the first place from the beginning of the world you are not the one that made it happen but now that you're existing there's a way that you can let it come out and um, but that's not really where i'm going today what i'm talking about today is the spirit in the dust i want to ask this question um it's really rhetorical anyway now, do you know that your spirit that is inside that body that you have right now is inside the dust? 
the dust that God created Adam from. And if you are carrying about dust and you have the spirit of God on the inside of you and you are feeling that no one can talk to you and you are feeling that this whole world is everything and after this world there is nothing else or you determine what happens after life, hello, that is not going to happen because what you are carrying about and having faith, so much faith, confidence, you are beautifying, you are nurturing, you are nourishing. That thing that you carry, that I'm calling thing now, is the human body that we have, is dust. Is going to return to dust one day. It is just standing together like that because of the commandment of God, because of the, the instruction of God, the command that he gave to it through the spirit that is inside of you. Once that spirit is being called out of your body, that dust that you are walking about with designing, shaping and looking for the beautiful attire, which is okay to cover now, that dust will just go back to the ground and become dust again. Why am I saying that? Oh, I'm just trying to open your eyes to an aspect that you might not be paying attention to daily because the skin that you have now that you can use millions to take care of and you are not saving up in heaven that skin will still go back to the ground under the ground six feet and at the end of the day worms i mean insects all the things that are living on the floor that you cannot even see now you just dust away you ask somebody to wash for you those things are still going to eat on that flesh when they eat on the flesh they will make it turn to dust again when the flesh this flesh that you can you cannot even sit on the floor now that flesh that you are taking care of will still turn to dust will be buried underground on the floor the same dust that you were taking from that body will be kept inside that dust again. So what is it that you are so proud of? What is it that God cannot ask you to leave now? Because one day, when he is done with you, he will call back that spirit. I'm telling you today because the spirit that is inside of you is what you should really take care of. Not that skin that you are looking after. Not the things that will make that skin comfortable. But that spirit is the most valuable. Because the one that is covering this, the spirit now is just the dust and which is your body. And this body that you have that is covering the spirit. You are not taking care of that spirit. All you are taking care and looking after is the flesh that is covering the spirit. And the spirit is suffering. Because one day when that flesh is going back to the ground, that spirit will be empty. It will go back to God hungry skinny not having anything to show that you have done to it so the spirit that is inside this dust must be cared for because that is the reason god created you he created you to bombard that spirit to give that spirit food to make that spirit to be bulky to be to be large to be robust to have the things of god the things that will make it you know not starved so that one day when god calls back that spirit that spirit will have something to show that yes this person that you gave to me to cover me that person really fed me and i'm back now god to remain where i belong which is with you but now that you have this body and you are taking care of body you have forgotten the spirit on the inside of you that one day that the container that you have right now which is the body will be removed and the contents will be taken back home for evidence but the evidence that you have now inside that content what can we call it can we call it the spiritual thing that god is interested in or we can call it the things of the world that you you make so you know important to yourself but hey once you are done with the container you are going to leave the container back in the ground and the content will have to go up because he said we should guard our heart with all diligence because from it cometh the issues of life that thing that god is say, telling you to guard now is your spirit if you don't guard it is the content he has given you you are only guarding the body you are trying to be safe when you make the body safe and the content inside is just exposed to everything one day when the container is removed what will happen to the content? The content is, is what God is asking you to shield, to guard, to make sure that the devil does not come inside, to make sure that the spirit of the world, the deceitfulness of riches, the lies of the devil does not corrupt because that is the evidence you will show to the father. The body will not travel home to show the father all the things you did in it. The body will return to the dust and the spirit is what will go back home and show the proof of labor, of sacrifice, of, of the spirit to God. I'm telling you today because because the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 20 says we all go on to one place we are all from the dust and one day we'll return again are you preparing for that day it might not come right now nobody wants that it might not come the next second but anytime it comes hello you have to be ready you don't have to be afraid of it because if you pack all the things that are needed for your spirit on the inside if you store them inside you will have nothing to fear then you will really have this understanding that this flesh this skin this body 
truly will go back. And when it goes back, it is not important because the spirit will, will fly home. The spirit will go up high. I'm telling you today because I know that you really need to hear this. I know that your spirit has to be ready because you, the body is being deceived by all the things that is seen around. I want you to be ready because God is waiting for that spirit to be loaded. God wants that spirit to be ready because the body, anytime the body will be called back, anytime this dust will go back to the dust where it belongs to the family of the dust again. But the spirit where the angels lives will have to go back up. Will that spirit really go back to God or it will go back to damnation or it will go back to doom or it will go back to destruction in hell? Because if you do not save anything, it's like a fire. If you do not save anything useful in your spirit now, if you do not load it with the things of God, when it gets home to God, it will have no value for God. There's nothing God will be able to do with that spirit. You cannot make any good use of it. You will see dragons in it. And what do you do to dragons? You tr throw them in the trash. You just toss them in the trash. May our spirit man not be tossed into trash in the name of Jesus. God bless you in Jesus name because I know that as you've heard this God will give you the grace to repent He will give you the grace to, to, to reign with him in eternal life and by doing so you'll be ready here on earth and you focus less on the body and give more attention to the spirit by reading your Bible, praying by giving your life to Christ by waiting on God till the day that he will return. I hope that you've really heard this and may he not leave your spirit man in the mighty name of Jesus. May God help you to consider, to rethink, to sit down and call the Holy Trinity to help you. God bless you in the name of Jesus. I remain Abbas Day Aro. Keep listening to Iwa. <laughs> Everything that I've read, praise the Lord. Africa.